Okay, this is a video about the traveling salesman problem. So the traveling salesman problem is um, where you have a number of cities, in this case um, uh, five cities, and distances between the cities. And that creates a graph uh, where the um, nodes are the cities and the um, edges are the connect uh, roads connecting the cities and the goal of a salesman is uh, to start in some city um, and uh, visit all of the cities exactly uh, once end up in the initial city and the total length of the tour should be minimal so that's a famous problem and um, in general it's pretty hard but we're going to add a condition to make it a little easier so um, the condition we're adding is that uh, it's called a triangular inequality and it means that um, if you go from um, let's say city C to city G uh, the distance that you have to take to cover 35 is uh, at most the distance of going through an intermediate city so there's no shortcuts going through a third point that's called the triangular inequality Okay, so uh, we will use that, and under that assumption, we will find an approximation to the um, shortest path traveling salesman problem. Okay, so um, the uh, problem that we're going to reduce it to, which is a much easier problem, is called the minimal spanning tree uh, problem. And so that's the problem of uh, given a graph uh, with weights on the edges, um, finding the tree that connects all the nodes and has the minimal total edge weight. Okay, so a tree simply means a graph that is without uh, cycles. Okay, so um, there are many algorithms for finding the minimal spanning tree, and we're going to use a specific one called uh, Kruskal's algorithm and um, what that algorithm says is first you take all the edges and you sort them according to their weight so you start with the least weight and you go up to the highest weight and then we add the edges one at a time according to this order from the least the smallest weight to the highest weight uh, one at a time as long as no cycle is created so let's try. So we say 10. Uh, we add, let's say, this one. That's good. We add this one. That's good. Now 15. We add this one. That's good. And now um, we want to add 20, but that would create a cycle. So we don't do that. 22 will be this one. We don't. That'll create a cycle too, so we don't do that. And finally we have 25 this 25 will create a cycle but this 25 will not and we have one two three four edges and we reach all the nodes so this is a minimal spanning tree and uh, its total weight is 10 plus 15 plus 10 plus 25 that's equal to 60 okay so we know how to find a minimal spanning tree uh, for our graph. Okay, now that we have a minimal spanning tree, we want to find a tour. So first, we're going to find a tour that is not quite legitimate. Um, it's uh, basically going to just go along the edges of the minimal spanning tree, like this. From E to C to D and now it's the uh, uh, leaf so we'll just go back to C and to E then we'll go to A back to E and to G and back to E okay so you see that we basically go along each um, edge twice so that means that uh, the length of the this tour I call here the depth first tree tour is exactly twice the minimal spanning tree weight. Okay? 
On the other hand, the minimal spanning tree weight is not more than the length of the best tour. Because suppose we have some best tour. Okay, so suppose it goes like this. Okay, so that's the best tour. So that means that uh, if we go and um, erase uh, one of the edges, then we have a spanning tree. So that spanning tree is um, is cannot be shorter than the minimal spanning tree. Okay, so that's why uh, the minimal spanning tree weight is no more than the length of the optimal tour. So that means that the length of this strange tour is exact is at most twice the uh, that of the optimal tour. Okay, now we want to create from this a legitimate tour that visits every city only once. So what we do is we basically follow the the uh, depth first tour as long as it doesn't go back. So instead of going back here, we'll just go only when we see to the next node that we that that is a new node. And again, we're not going to go back, but to go to the node that is the new node, and then back finally to the beginning. So that's going to be um, our solution, our tour. Okay, so uh, this tour that we have is both uh, a legitimate tour because it visits uh, each node or each city exactly once, and it's no longer than the f uh, depth first tree tour because of triangular inequality. So if we go from D um, through to C to E to A, it has to have a longer distance than uh, directly from D to A. And similarly, from A to G is shorter than from A to E and then to G. Okay, so that uh, distance is, is at most as large as um, what we have before. And uh, the actual distance we get here is um, 15 plus 10 plus 25 plus 30 plus 25, uh, which is 105. And the length of the um, minimal spanning tree is 60, which was 120. So we see indeed that the length that we get is uh, shorter.